I've seen as um one pretty good. I'd say it's a pretty long season for me. First year pro and playing in Grand Rapids. Kind of a little slow start, but ended pretty strong in the playoffs. Was it more learning maybe what it takes mentally to be a good pro and just the grind of it and such, or? Yeah, just learning like many small things, just like you know, things away from the rink and your, your sleeping habits and small techniques you have to learn playing hockey, also practice, but you know, it's not just all just, not just all hockey you have to focus, but there's many things that, you know, translate into the pro game. I'm sure there's part of you in every athlete when you get drafted, there's that thought immediately, like, how fast can I get to the pros? How fast can I put on the jersey of the team that drafted me? Where are you right now with that thought process to say how much you're itching to get in, in here in Detroit? I knew my process and what I have to do. I know I was going to have to go down to the AHL, prove myself a little bit. So coming back for my second year, I'm pretty pretty confident what's going to happen now. You know, I think it's my year to come, my year to play. In the AHL still, or you believe you, you deserve the spot on this roster? Yes, in the NHL. What gives you that confidence? This confidence I had last season. I know I did right. You know, finished up the year that I had. I'm just confident in myself as a player and what I can do. Have you talked with the organization, with, with Steve at all, and maybe the coaching staff to maybe see how they see you now? Yeah. Yeah, we had a couple conversations at the end for exit meetings. Now there's a new staff. I mean, is there any, any, any updates since Steve took over? No updates, but I had a chance to talk with Steve, and you know, things sounded pretty good with him. What did he tell you as far as what he needs to see from you or anything like that? Um, not, nothing he didn't tell me like, specifically, but you know, he mentioned that he likes my style of play. You know, he watched him when he was in Tampa Bay and like stuff like that, and he likes what I, what I can do out there. Is that, I mean, the, the key for you? Just tough to play against, uh, especially if maybe physically for opponents. Yeah, it's my style of game. I'm a tough player, physical player. I like to, you know, get into di dirty areas, stuff like that. So it, I guess she likes that in me. So I'm happy about that. Giovanni, we, you know, believe it or not, we were all young ones too, and think that we had all the answers, and we kind of figured it out. I'm kind of curious. When you arrived in Grand Rapids, did you sur were you surprised? Or intimidated by how much maybe you didn't know that you thought you knew? Yeah, I guess coming from junior, I just thought it would be like another OHL playing against, you know, 16, 20 year olds, but, you know, it, it was different playing against men, you know, guys who've been there for 10 plus years, five plus years. So it's just that transition. It was just stuff I had to learn, which I did. Did you feel compelled that you had to, to bring the rough and tumble game, or did you need to kind of figure it out a little bit more that you didn't just want to be? engage from the opening face off on well that's just the way i play i like to play you know rough i like to you know get get in dirty areas play in the corners and do it, that type of stuff so it's you know it's kind of spoke drop for me is it encouraging steve says there's jobs available on this team it's pretty much accepted for very few players on this roster it's open season so to speak uh how much encouragement does that give you it's a lot a lot of encouragement i know it's you know guys are you know, leaving the team now, and you know we signed you guys open spots. So I, I know what's around, and I know what the team's looking for, and I'm just going to camp ready to go. What do you think was the advantage to you in the exhibition season this year? I mean, that's when you push for a job, to make an allegation for a job. Yeah. Like, what 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 advantage did you have this year compared to last year? I played in a few games, so I know what it's like, and I know what to expect. What was it like skating out there with all these little kids that look up to you? Well, it was pretty fun. You know. It, lift my spirits a little bit. I just love hockey 24 seven. So it's nice to connect with those kids again. Is it wild that they look at you and go, oh my God, you're, you're the red man. You're, you're everything I want to be, but they all sit there and gawk at you. Are you getting used to that? Yeah, it's, I remember I was, I was in their shoes and I used to do the same exact thing. I'd see players and draft picks and prospects that come by. It's like, wow, such a cool guy. <laughs> so I know how those kids feel just owning it. What do they ask you? Do they do they constantly ask you the same question? Are you answering different questions, or do you get one that's so out of left field? It's like, kid, where where are you from? <laughs> yeah, there's actually a few kids from uh, just outside of Michigan, but um, most of them are the same questions. Can you score goals? Can you fight? Can you, <laughs> you know, do you like to celly, like to celebrate stuff like that? Did just fun kid did questions. One kid did, but he's just joking <laughs> around. <laughs>